ours is a world that expects and rewards instant, accessible, affordable, and timely solutions, where employers and employees experience abrupt and frequent change, where employees need to extend their education to meet tomorrow's demands, a world where public support for public universities is threatened, where traditional universities need to find new ways to do business. Into this world, indeed shaping this world, comes the Great Plains Interactive Distance Education Alliance, an idea with the power to transform higher education, an alliance of universities that embraces technology and each other, that capitalizes on collective strengths to create a stronger whole. Designed so the student can stay at home and study under faculty from several universities and receive a master's degree from one. This is a success story. This alliance works. I'm convinced that the way of the future for all of higher education is to frame active partnerships with private sector, between institutions, with the public sector. And here we have a partnership that's rich. It spans uh, 10 institutions uh, coming together to provide the very best education possible for the students. The Great Plains idea is a partnership of 10 colleges in 10 universities in 10 states that sponsors inter-institutional, internet-based academic programs. This allows each college to offer new, specialized graduate programs, programs none of them have the resources to do alone. But together, they do. The Alliance delivers programs to students where they work and live, and they are doing this in a fiscally and academically accountable way. Students, faculty, and universities are all winners. Family financial planning was the first academic program sponsored by the Great Plains IDEA. Faculty from seven Alliance institutions developed the curriculum and divided the teaching responsibilities according to their expertise. One of the things we've been trying to do is see how we can share resources across institutions and make a program out of existing resources. And so this has been a very creative way to bring people together and try to maximize the use of the faculty that we do have in an area that we know there is demand. We have a, a wide variety of students in the program, and a lot of them live in small communities. They're not close to campuses where they could actually go physically take classes. So the online option really is the only option that they have. Um, if the Great Plains idea was not offering this option online, I really I don't know for sure what I would be doing uh, with my life, you know, either uh, work-wise or school-wise, what I would have been able to do. It's been very convenient to be able to take classes online and um, be able to still maintain my family life, my work life, and my school life. No one campus by itself could deliver uh, the type of program that they thought should be delivered and with the collaboration that they could offer that. The faculty student interaction online is a, a lot more um, extensive. I have more communication with students online than I ever do in the classroom where I'm lecturing and even, even though we're taking time for questions and discussion, the, the interaction online is, is different and one of the big differences is that every student participates and in the classroom you tend to have a few students who are the ones who have more to say. We've had students from California, Chicago, North Carolina, so the, the mix is, is very interesting and the experiences that students bring are very interesting. But our goal, of course, is to help people who are in distance locations access high quality advanced preparation for a new career typically or at least to augment the career they have so we have to be very attentive to the fact that these are adult learners these are very responsible people by and large these particularly are investing a lot to to get what they need out of it and so if things get in the way we try very hard to help them make it still work you could take this in Antarctica because you can get online in Antarctica so 
that is opening up a world of education to people who never had access to that before. So despite the drawbacks, despite the fact that it's all email, despite the fact I don't see them face to face, I still think it is a high quality program in terms of the learning that goes on. And this is the kind of thing that I think will help rural environments become comparable to urban environments if we can continue to do distance delivery in the states, I think that we have done a great thing for the people who are supporting us as faculty. Initiated with considerable goodwill but no central funding, the Alliance evolved from fragile to stable and now sustainable. This evolution could not have occurred without the commitment of administrative and faculty leaders and the collective spirit of generosity that prevails. They shared leadership responsibilities and a common vision to make high quality education accessible. One of the things that impressed me very much was the collegiality around the table, the cooperative attitude around the table. The fact that people were certainly striving to achieve the best for their own institution, but that people also saw that one way to achieve that was through this collective effort. So there is a cooperative spirit within this alliance. And I think sometimes people think of that as being simply a group of people being nice to each other. This is more than nice, it's good business. Because through this cooperative, collective effort, we're really able to offer degrees that we couldn't offer otherwise we're able to give the students who are enrolled in our programs access to students from all over the world and to faculty from all over the region. And as a result, we are able to produce a higher quality product. The Great Plains idea figured out how to do business together, how to leverage resources for the good of the group while, while strengthening each institution and serving students' needs. They did it by first agreeing on some basic principles. As daunting as this task may sound, the Alliance discovered that a shared sense of urgency and a few deceptively simple principles made collaboration possible. Principle one, behave as equals. Once this principle is accepted, other agreements can happen. Each participating university treats the courses and faculty of the other institutions as if they were its own. Graduate faculty status at one Alliance University is honored by all. Principle two, respect institutional differences. The curriculum is the same everywhere, but program and degree titles are unique to each institution. Faculty workloads differ, internal financial distributions differ, admissions processes differ. Working from these essential principles, teams of graduate faculty, graduate deans, chief financial officers, registrars, continuing education directors, and academic deans developed the Great Plains idea policies and procedures. This was not easy. The team saw the issues from very different perspectives yet we're able to come together and agree on policies and procedures that work for everyone. These administrative colleagues were inspired by the idea and committed to overcoming administrative barriers. And they did. They figured out how to streamline the administrative process. The price per credit is the same everywhere. The money transfers smoothly. Student records and information transfer easily and securely between institutions. It is all transparent to the student. I think if a real collaboration is desired, uh, the flexibility of each member institution is, is actually going to be tested in a real way. And it seems that it, at each institution there are certain policies and procedures that are considered sacred. Um, as we've worked through trying to develop policies and procedures for the Alliance, we find that from university to university, um, that everybody's pretty flexible until you get to their sacred policy or procedure. Um, but if a, a real alliance, alliance is going to be created, then you have to trust each other. You have to, you know, be very flexible. Um, you have to move toward truly uh, 
realizing that the flexibility and putting away some of those sacred policies and procedures, that's, that that's the only way you can truly develop a student-centered program. Academic deans created the academic policies. Registrars created the plan for management of student records. And finance officers created the plan to financially sustain the alliance. The Great Plains Idea Alliance is funded by a student enrollment fee rather than a membership fee for several reasons. First, we have a stake in the alliance only for those programs that uh, we're directly participating in. Second, each participating institution pays the uh, fee for each student that they have registered rather than paying a flat membership fee. So the cost is proportional to the level of participation by each institution. Third, only the students taking the Alliance course are paying the fees so that we can tell our administration and our Board of Regents that we're not paying new dues unless our students are directly benefiting from the process. And uh, finally, we don't have to approach our institutions about coughing up new, membership, new funds to pay for membership fees, uh, which was a key factor in these increasingly tight fiscal times. When students register for courses at their home institution, they pay the Alliance common price that includes all tuition and enrollment fees. The common price is reviewed by the institutional finance officers each year to ensure sustainability. 75% is distributed to the university teaching the course. 12.5% to the university admitting, advising, and enrolling the student, and 12.5% to the Alliance. This to me represents uh, very much what the future of higher education is. Students now have a, um, a global uh, marketplace of providers that they are uh, able to take courses from. It's a very competitive uh, environment. I think uh, institutions, if they're going to offer quality programs, are going to have to collaborate in order to, uh, to compete. Jim, I'm, I'm actually more intrigued by uh, the inner workings of uh, the Great Plains idea effort and the work that went on that the students don't see, that they obviously benefit from, um, and the model that they truly have established and one that we're trying to utilize uh, in many respects in, in the South are their efforts at getting institutions to buy into a common set of objectives that ultimately benefit the students who they're trying to serve, whether that be their tuition efforts where they took very disparate uh, tuition arrangements and got everyone to agree to a specific tuition uh, amount uh, to their what I think is a very innovative approach to, uh, to uh, chopping up those dollars and redistributing them across the uh, spectrum of in institutions. Uh, these are, are efforts in that model that all of us can use and I, think, I, I do believe that we will use them even more so in the future. Uh, as these uh, uh, difficult economic times continue. The Great Plains idea is not a degree-granting entity. It is a collaboration of 10 universities in 10 states that operates under the guidance of a board of directors. It provides the framework for the development and delivery of inter-institutional academic programs. It makes them possible. The Board of Directors is composed of representatives from member universities. Services such as communications, data, website, finances, and marketing are handled centrally by the Alliance. Each curriculum program is led by a faculty team and supported administratively by a member of the Board of Directors who helps the team develop the curriculum, gain program approval, and sustain the program. The Great Plains idea has also developed a unique database to facilitate the exchange of student and course information among the institutions. This database provides a simple solution to what is often complicated course management. And crucial to that management is the on-campus coordinator designated by each university to support students and faculty. This is the person that day-to-day -day handles student questions or problems concerning services, connectivity, navigation, etc., thus freeing the faculty to concentrate on instruction. The Great Plains Interactive Distance Education Alliance is an idea. 
created by academics, and as you've just heard, made a reality by administrators working together, all committed to the same goal, to create an alliance that is not only stable and self-sustaining, but works for the student, the faculty, and the university. A model that meets the challenge of today's changing world and can respond to the challenges of tomorrow. This is a success story. Family financial planning paved the way for other programs, including gerontology and youth development. Further information about the Great Plains IDEA model is available at www.gpidea.org in the Collaboration Resource Center. Additional information and consulting services are available by contacting alliance at ksu.edu.